Welcome back to my channel guys, Topical Juice. I'm back with another topical based topic cool topic based topic video. Um, it's not a story time, it's not like a trending topic. I'm back with a video, mainly for the ladies this one, I can't lie. However, it doesn't mean it's not relevant for men. And as you can see by the title, the video is gonna be about six five six reasons, six signs, six signs of an emotionally abusive relationship. So without further ado. Let's begin. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. So as I said before my cool little introduction bit, this video is going to be targeted towards the ladies in the audience. However, it doesn't mean it's not relevant to men. Ultimately, I make these videos to help everyone. First and foremost, I need to do like a disclaimer. People are human beings at the end of the day. We are all guilty of the, of the six things I'm going to talk about. It doesn't mean that you are an emotional abuser. If you if you if you look if you watch this video and you see actually I do that, or just because your partner might do some of the things I speak about, it doesn't mean that they are abusive. But these are definitely signs, and if you see these signs consistently and over a long period of time, you need to look at the relationship. You need to look at yourself. You need to look at your partner. And I firmly believe that you need to potentially make a change if you're seeing these, these six signs consistently. So yeah, I'm gonna get straight into it. <clears throat> Sign number one, okay? Sign number one is he feels better about himself the more he puts you down. If you find yourself at the butt of his jokes in front of company, if you find yourself being humiliated by him in private or in public, if he embarrasses you consistently, that clearly means that there's some sort of, there's some sort of insecurity he has within his own mind and men definitely have a lot of insecurities even if they don't like to speak about it and if someone keeps putting putting you down like that and, and, and you can see it makes him feel better about himself that's sign number one someone should want to support you someone should support you because it makes them feel better about themselves as well as you if it's a team if like, the same way i look at my friends the same way i look at the gang i don't win unless we win they don't win unless i win you know i, I don't say i no more it's we it's we 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 so i think that boyfriend should also have the same energy towards his girlfriend as well the second sign is if you continue to put his needs over yours because you're afraid of how he might react that's another sign of, a, of an emotionally abusive relationship on the one hand it's fantastic that you're putting his needs above yours that's great but if the reason you're doing it is because you're afraid then that's a no-no then he ain't the one. In my opinion, you should both want to put each other's needs first because of the love and the affection and the care that you have for the other person. That is, I mean, that, that should be glaringly obvious. If you're finding that um, he's putting his own needs in front of yours and, you, and you're putting his needs in front of yours, there's clearly an imbalance in kind of the relationship. And if that's the case, we should be holding up a mirror to that relationship and saying maybe, that's, he's ain't, maybe he ain't the one. Number three, he makes you believe that you and only you are the reason that the relationship is struggling and makes you believe that you're the crazy one and that you need to put more effort in. For me, they're, they're signs, they're signs there because relationship in a relationship, there's two parties and the only two people that know what happened in a relationship are the two people in it. So if there's two people in a relationship, I'm doing the maths, Two plus two equals four, not 97. There's two parties in a relationship, therefore it's both equal responsibility to make sure it works. If you're a woman and you're being continuously told that you're a psycho and it's not this and not that, ultimately you're gonna lose your head. You're gonna, you're, you're gonna become a psycho because if someone tells you you're a psycho enough times, you're gonna become it. Here's Johnny. Because that's just the way mentality works. Relationships have to be equal. If the relationship is struggling, both people have to hold their hands up and look at themselves and ask why. Sign number four, he intentionally makes you jealous. Now, like I said at the start of the video, we're all guilty of some of these things. And making someone jealous, some people might not think that's, you know, that big a deal. And to be honest, it might not be. In my opinion, making them jealous here and there isn't that bad. But if you're making someone jealous on a consistent basis, over and over again, that's emotional abuse. You know, you can make people jealous on social media. You can make people jealous in person and all of a sudden it becomes a competition. I know from first hand, after a while, you can, you know, if you're a female, you're going to get insecure because your, 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 your boyfriend is comparing you to other people intentionally, you know, and if you're a boy, you're going to get pissed off that your girl keeps making, trying to make you jealous and you're going to get, you know, you're going to get annoyed. So yeah. Number five, he treats you like a pet. A boyfriend that controls your whereabouts, controls your outfit, controls what you post on social media. They're signs. Again. It's not, doesn't mean he's guilty if he, someone does this, but again, if, he, if, if these signs are creeping up over and over again, you might wanna look at the relationship. I can't lie, if my girl wants to post something risque on Insta, 
I might, you know, the old me would have been like, are you sure you want to post that? But now I might be thinking it. I won't, I won't even lie. I might be thinking it. But this time around, nah, you post what you want to post because you're a big woman. But if your boyfriend is keeping tabs on you and you're not, re and you're losing the freedom to wear what you want, go where you want, and he's treating you like a pet, come on. There's obvious signs. Look for someone else. Look for someone who would let you be your per let you be the person that you want to be, with the freedom to do what you want to do. So yeah. And finally, number six. I don't know. Six. He makes you feel inferior by negatively comparing you to other women. Now, social media. Everyone's got self-esteem issues. We're seeing all these beautiful models, male and female, all online, striving to be them. And if, if, if your boyfriend can't big you up and gas you up and say that actually no, you're doing you're doing a bitch, you're doing the most, like you're looking looking like a true queen. If someone's comparing you comparing comparing you negatively to other women, celebrities, friends, whoever, he ain't the one. He ain't the one at all. I've met a lot of women in my life, and I know how much women do have insecurities, especially being compared to other people. That's not nice, and that's the, that's a surefire sign. I don't care. I don't care who you are. That's a surefire sign that. There's emotional, emotional manipulation slash emotional abuse at play here. So, anyway, women, you know, you lot of queens, like if you, if any, if your relationship is showing all these signs, make make the big decision and cut ties. Cut, you feel me? Cut ties. Lights, camera, action. I meant, nah, I, meant, I thought it was lights, camera, cut. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, just cut the ties and um, move on. But anyway, I hope you like this video. Topical Juice, we're back. You know the deal. Comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, and peace.